let's make a bodice that actually fits. So I am going to be using this bodice, which is a size 14, and I'm going to make it fit myself. I'm going to use my own measurements um, for two reasons. One, I know what I measure, and two, I get a block out of it at the end, which is quite nice. So your main considerations when making a block fit you are that it's the right proportion. So we're talking about lengths. We want to make sure it's the right proportion for your body. And then we want to make sure that the circumferences fit you. If your bust is over a C cup, you need to do a full bust adjustment on your bodice block before you do anything else. You need to do a full bust adjustment and then you want to trace that off and then do this process with your adjusted bodice. If you're not sure how to do a full bust adjustment, I have a YouTube video on that. Um, so go and check that out. Do that first and then come back. So other than the bust, the most important areas that we need to check are the nape to waist. We need to check the nape, so the nape lives here, the nape to bust point coming round the block down to the waist and then obviously the nape to waist as well. We also need to consider the cross back and the cross front. So I'm going to show you first how to measure your block to make sure that you're measuring it in the same place that you measured your body and then we're going to compare the two and see how much we need to add. So I'm going to start with the back just because. So the cross back measurement is roughly midway in your armhole. So you not midway as in measuring it around the curve, but midway as in height wise. So we want to draw a line that is roughly halfway. There's like a plateau-y bit in the center of your armhole. We want to draw a line through there so that these two points are roughly either side of the line. Same thing for the front, between here and here, so the cross front is roughly there. And I'll draw a line across, move slightly lower, and measure the cross front point there. These also act as lengthening lines a bit later. On your block, your bust point should be at the bust point intended. So if you're doing this on a pattern, you need to bring your dart to the bust point first before you do anything else. If you don't know how to do that, guess what? I've got a YouTube video showing you how. So go and do that. Bring your both your darts at the front to the actual true bust point. So next we draw the underbust line. So an average amount for an underbust line is eight centimeters above the natural waist. So you can either draw a line eight centimeters above the waist on your pattern, or you can measure your own underbust location and draw that on here. Whichever works for you is totally fine. I am going to draw it eight centimeters up because I know that that actually matches my underbust. So I'm following the curve of this bottom here. I'm not doing just a straight line. And then the same thing on the back. I'm going to go eight centimeters up. It doesn't have to be perfect because this is just a measuring point. Eight centimeters across. So now what we need to do is figure out how much different the body is to the block. To do that, you need to record your measurements and then record the measurements of the block. So this is what I've done. In practice, I actually scribble it on the pattern paper next to the block, but I've kept uh, because I'm making this video, I've kept this uh, so that I can use it for demo purposes. It's very scruffy. It doesn't need to look beautiful. It's just for you. So you want to list the measurements here. You want to put what your measurements are. Then you want to add how much ease you're going to add into your block or your pattern. And then you need to total it. Just worry about that for now. So I'm going to fold this back so it doesn't get too scary. So you your measurements and write down all of your measurements. We've already done that. That's totally fine. You can do that. So when you're adding ease, you only need to add ease to um, circumference measurements. So ease is there as wiggle room. So it's if you need to breathe, if you need to bend, if you need to move. So for example, things like your shoulder length don't need ease because your shoulder isn't likely to expand. We didn't cover shoulder measurements in the earlier video, 
but the shoulder measurement goes from the side of your neck to your shoulder bone. So that's all you need to measure your shoulder. So therefore, the areas that I add ease to are bust, under bust, waist, because you expand, because you're breathing, over bust as well, same reason, cross back to allow for movement of the shoulder blades. And then your nape to sigh is, I don't know why they call it sigh, it's a weird name. It's basically the depth of your armhole. So the reason we add ease onto that is so that you don't end up with your underarm point right in your armpit. So many reasons why you don't want it there. So we add a bit of ease to allow for a bit more of a loose fit. I wanted, I was gonna add four centimeters ease to all of these areas. I decided to add a bit less to my under bust waist and over bust. Basically the area here, shoulder blade round to bust, that's the bit that expands when you breathe. So I like to add a minimum of four, unless I'm doing something really tight. I think it would be too baggy to have that much. I want a bit more shaping under the bust and on the over bust. So I'm just gonna add three centimeters here. So that's just over an inch. And then on the cross back, it's only half the body. So I've halved the amount of the total ease. So the, this is total ease for the entire circumference of the body. And nape to side, you can just add a centimeter or 1.5 centimeters. Once you've figured out where you're going to put your ease and how much, then you total it. And that's all this third column is. It's just the total amount. U plus the ease areas equals the total. So that's how much we want our block to measure. Once you've done that, you then measure the block. So I'm going to show you how to measure the block. Once you've measured it, you're going to record all of the measurements here. So I'm gonna show you how to measure the block now. Don't worry about these two columns. So the first measurement we've got is the bust. I've got my cardboard block here so that I can show you because it's better if you can just put them both together. I've traced my blocks off so that I can cut the paper up and add length and things like that internally if I need to. Um, so if you trace them off, you'll have your block as well, which makes it a lot easier to compare the pieces. So I put the front next to the back so the bust measurement goes through the bust point. So you want to come from here. It's about two and a half, about an inch underneath the underarm point across the body round in line with the dart. If you've got um, a side seam dart through the bust point and into the center front. So you're not measuring it in a straight line. You're going to measure it in a slightly curved way. So you're coming from the back through the front block. And then when you get kind of about here, you kind of curve round and meet the front at a right angle. So I'll show you that on a tape measure. So starting here, about an inch down from the underarm, we're gonna go, and then when you get to the dart, I put a fingernail there and skip to the other side because we don't wanna include that measurement because it's not actually there, it's in a dart. Round to the block and then curve round to the bust point and curve round to the front. So I've got a straight 100 centimeter there for the bust. For the over bust, we take the measurement slightly higher so you can go above the dart and you wanna hit the underarm because it's a tight measurement round the underarm and then you wanna take it up and round to the top. So I've got 49 centimeters there, which is 98 in total. You can pop your block to one side now and we'll go through the rest of the measurements. So the waist, you want to measure the waist and not the dart. The waist is less important in terms of adapting the block because you've got darts to play with. So if your waist is too small for your block or your pattern, you can just make smaller darts and it's a lot less of a stressful situation. The cross front is just this guy. So you're going to measure along that line, make a note of that and double it. That's your cross front. Cross back, same thing, here to here and then double it. The next circumference, you wanna measure on the curve, round here and then round here, and make a note of what that is times two, because this is a half pattern or half block. What I generally do is I work out the total measurement of this because I've measured the total measurement of myself, and then I look at the difference. So all of these, you wanna double them. Next, we do some length measurements, which we don't need to double because the length is going vertically, so it's the entire length. We don't need to double any of the following. First up, we've got nape to waist. So 
This measurement, nape to waist back is super easy. You're going from the top here down to the waist and then you're gonna make a note of what that is. Nape to waist front and nape to boss point, what you wanna do is measure on the curve round the back neck, make a note of where the shoulder point is, bring that point to the front shoulder and then pivot it round to the boss point. Make a note of that first and then bring the tape measure down and make a note of where it hits the waist. Boss point to boss point is easy. That's this to the center front times by two. Shoulder, super simple, corner to corner, here to here. And nape to sigh is from your nape down to where the intersection is with your armhole. You can do this by putting a set square or a pattern master at right angles with the center back and having it intersect the underarm point and then you want to measure that straight down and make a note of what it is that is how you measure a bodice block so once you've taken those measurements write them down and then we'll have a look at how much we need to add to each piece so here I've got my measurements again. So we've written the block measurements down. The next bit is easy. You just find the difference between the two. So I know that my block is smaller than I want it. So I haven't written plus or minus. I did down here for some reason, but I don't need to put plus or minus because I know that all of these are plus. If you've got some areas that are smaller and some that are bigger, you can put the difference as, you know, if your block is smaller, you could put minus one or minus whatever. Um, find a method that works for you and just record the differences between yourself and your block. This last column is the final amount that we're going to change the block by. So for the circumference measurements, so this is for any measurement that goes entirely around the body, we actually need to divide the difference by four because we've got a front and a back and they're on the half. And so, for example, I need to add eight centimeters to my bust. I'm not gonna add eight to each of these because actually then I'll be adding 32 centimeters. So what I wanna do is divide it by two because I've got a front and a back and then split that in half again because this is on the half. So I'm dividing this by four. The bust, under bust, waist and over bust, you divide all of those by four. Your cross front measurement, your cross back, you divide by two because you've got a front and a back measurement and these are on the half. The neck circ, like these circumference measurements, you divide by four. The armhole circ, you divide by two because you've got a front and a back, but the armhole, the entire armhole is represented on this block. The length measurements, leave them. Whatever you've put as the difference is how much you're gonna change it by because the whole length is represented on this. So how you now record this on your pattern is up to you. What I tend to do is scribble the amounts next to the area that I need to change and then I adjust that as I go. So I'll show you what I mean. For my bust, I need to adjust it by two centimeters front and back. So I'm gonna write two here and two here. My underbust is okay, so I'm gonna leave that alone. My waist, again, is two and two. My overbust is 0.5. But I know that my overbust is gonna be increased when I increase the bust, so I can kind of leave that alone. Similarly with the underbust, it's gonna increase naturally because this is two, this is two, so I'm just gonna add two centimeters to the side. My cross back, I need to add two centimeters. My neck circ, I need to add nine mil here and nine mil here. My armhole, I, I rounded this up, so I wanna add roughly four. You can also draw arrows to help you, so I know that that means add it to my cross back. So going for the lengths now, nape to waist, back, I need to add one. Nape to waist front, I need to add two. Nape 
Nate to boss point, I need to add five. And again, I've got them on a list here, but I'm visual, so I like to write them around my block or pattern so that I can cross them off as I go and I know that I've done it. Bust point to bust point is okay. Shoulder is plus point seven. And then nape to side is plus half a centimeter. So for that one, I add a little arrow in here. And then this one, you can continue it all the way so you know that's the full length. We've now got the figures. We know how much we need to increase this by to fit the body that it's intended for. 